Hi, well you you join me at the back end of the day. I'm on my final fell of the day. I've only done two today. Now it's been quite a, a, a different outing because today I'm out with my son and he's right there behind me out of view but I'm keeping I'm keeping my eye on him. It's been difficult. Try to record a video, uh, also record a video with him because we like to do a bit of a fun video as well and GoPro um, and also take photographs. <laughs> to be fair however that's what I've been focusing on the, the snapping and taking opportunities but we've got some wonderful light going on. I'm on the top of Ranadale Knots and it's quite a technical place here so I've just got to keep my eye on him. What's he doing? It's quite windy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm at the top of Randall Knots. Uh, behind me, if you can see me or not, behind me is Buttermere. You've got Crummock at the east side. It's a wonderful light. It's about what two o'clock in the afternoon. So we've got about two hours of light left. I'm going to fire away, see what we can get from here. There's not much opportunity, to be honest. But uh, yeah. Anyway, this is how the day started. Me. Well, no, I'm, I'm looking cameras this way. No. So I'm here in the Lake District, and the noise you probably hear be behind you or in front of me is yeah, hello, is my little son. I'm not gonna show you him, fine, I just need to keep my eye on him. So yeah, as I say, I'm in the Lake District. Now, it forecasted fog, which means that I definitely weren't going to get fog, because it's hardly ever right. I'm in Borrowdale, and I've been blessed by some lovely autumnal colours, but ideally I wanted fog. Now, I'm on my way up to Castle Crag, which is the smallest Wainwright, and on my way up, I uh, got, I was going to say rewarded, but I sort of like missed the best of it. A nice light beam coming from behind me. It's the Eagle Crag area. Uh, Gallimara. It is slightly overcast, unfortunately, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that will improve as the day progresses. Right, I'm going to get to the top of Castle Crag. Find my son who's climbing the stile. So I've also got to keep my eye on him today. Now we have got large dotted around and that's what's uh, that's what's attracted me. It's got some nice colours on at the moment. And there is a break in cloud every now and then. Hence the light beams early on. So you never know. You just never know. The light is definitely on uh? full gas now. I said the light. It's all about the light. We've got backlight, side light. The down. larches, the colours against the background. Like yeah. I'm getting ushered along by my son. Because we want to go to Ranadale Knox now. But I don't want it. I don't want it. I just want to take advantage. Alright, better go. I've been ushered away by my son, but the truth is, I don't want to move on. The light is absolutely wonderful. I'm still on Castle Crag. It's backlight, inside light, and these beautiful golden latches. I've shot a couple towards uh, Eagle Crag area, and that's where some nice layering going on. Put the lights in the foreground, played around with 35mm. <sighs> I better go. I've got other places to go, haven't we? Yeah, we have to get to Red Hill Knox. We have to get back to, and then come back down from it, get to can get to McDonald's and we have to do all that by 8. Did you hear all that? That's all the day's secrets gone. Important part of the trip is getting the photographs in the bag. It is proving difficult to video 
with him around. Really is difficult. Why do I choose to do this thing? Why am I overexposed? I'm so unprepared. But yeah, the most important part is getting the photos in the bag, taking opportunities. I keep repeating myself, taking opportunities. I was just talking to someone up there. Which way we're going now? There we go. Just talking to a, a chap up there, quite a popular place today with photographers. Um, just telling the best positions are down there, just and the best way to get some decent photos is just to position yourself one single place and just wait for the light. And then I said, that's not something I do to be honest. Spontaneous combustion as it were. Right, I better go. Beautiful. So back to where I am at Ranadale Knots. The final light of the sun is just above the horizon heading towards what? Uh, Red Pike, high style area. And it's illuminating uh, the body of trees between Crumlin Water and Buttermere. I'm gonna home in on them. There's some nice larches there. A white building, a house, farm, whatever it is. Which will, which will create some nice contrast. We'll see. We'll see. I need to get off this little mountain because he's already fallen. So I need to keep my eye on him. Right, until. Okay, that's the end of the video. Just stay there. I don't want him in view as well. You know, you can hear him, but I just don't want him in view. Anyway, that's the end of the day. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed this short video. Just goes to show, you can stew pictures whilst also being responsible and looking after your young son. But it's not easy. Anyway, till next time, take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. Bye bye for now.